Hey CBC family, I'm going to uh, play a little bit of guitar um, while we get um, some people on live for our 516 devotional tonight. Hey CBC, um, welcome to our 516 devotional on 516. Woo! I like it. Um, my name is Zach Benton. Uh, I am your new associate pastor and uh, I hope you all have been having a great week. Um, today CBC is having our 24-hour prayer chain. Um, so right now someone in our church is praying. Um, and if you still want to sign up um, for a time to pray this evening. Um, you can do that. The link um, to sign up for prayer was in Pastor Steve's uh, Friday Notes email as well as in the email he sent out today. Um, but if you've had trouble signing up or, or you don't even want to mess with it, don't worry about signing up. Just pray. Um, today, people, um, since very early this morning till very late at night, are going to be praying um, for CBC. And, um, and, and for our state and our country and our world as well. Um, Pastor Steve picked today for our 24-hour uh, prayer chain um, because May, 15, uh, May 16th um, is connected um, to the vision of our church. Um, we want to be a church um, that is a 516 church, uh, one that prays fervently, James 516, that rejoices always, 1 Thessalonians 516, um, that walks in the Spirit, Galatians 5.16, that shines out the light of Christ, Matthew 5.16, and makes the most of the time, Ephesians 5.16. And so we pray on May 16th, 5.16, because we need God's help. We desperately need God's help um, to be a 5.16 church. Um, this past week, um, all our 516 devotionals have been reflecting on those um, 516 verses. And I hope that's been really helpful and edifying for you. Um, and tonight, um, I want to just prepare our hearts and minds um, for our Sunday service um, tomorrow that will be taking place online. And to do that, I'm going to uh, share with us a simple scripture and um, teach you guys a song that we're going to be singing all together tomorrow. And the scripture I have picked out for us um, is one verse um, out of the Psalms. So this is Psalm uh, 136, verse 26. Um, Psalm 136, verse 26. And this is from the ESV. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his steadfast love endures forever. It's so short, I'm going to read it again. Give thanks to the God of heaven. For his steadfast love endures forever. And that's what we're going to do um, tomorrow um, as we uh, sing together all over Baton Rouge um, with our um, worship service. We're going to give thanks to the God of heaven. And it isn't, isn't it great that God is in heaven and he's over all the craziness um, on earth and all the difficulty that's going on right now. We give thanks to God because because he's in heaven and he's above it all, sovereign over it all. And we give thanks to him also because his steadfast love endures forever. God's love is constant. It's unchanging. It's eternal. And that um, feeds into the song I have picked out for us tonight and that we're going to sing together um, tomorrow. And, and that song is um, entitled Build My Life. Um, it's by Brett Yonker um, and uh, the guys over at Passion. Um, the song, the title of the song is based on the lyrics from the song's bridge. And they go like this. 
I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation, and I will put my trust in you alone, and I will not be shaken. Today I went out and prayed on the foundation of the new youth building, and I wrote out some scriptures on the foundation, and some other people have written prayers and things on the foundation of the new building. And you could do that um, if you want to this coming week in the evenings or on a weekend. Um, and it's true in life. Um, just as it's true in construction, um, that you have to have a sure foundation. Um, if the folks building our new youth building got the foundation wrong, um, then it doesn't really matter what the rest of the building looks like um, because it probably won't last very long. Um, so if a foundation is important in building buildings, then how much more important is the foundation of our lives? And the foundation of our life must be the love of God in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, that is the only firm and lasting foundation. And we build our lives on that sure foundation when we are daily trusting in Jesus Christ alone. Um, and when we get the foundation right, um, then we won't be shaken. Um, now, that's not to say that difficulties and hard circumstances won't come our way. Just look at the world right now. Um, but when our foundation is the love of God displayed in the gospel of Jesus Christ, then we cannot ultimately be destroyed. We cannot ultimately be shaken and be destroyed. So in our worship service tomorrow, um, we will look at to Christ um, in the midst of our circumstances, and we will remember that because of Christ, we have a firm foundation upon which to build our lives. So let's practice singing Build My Life in preparation for singing it tomorrow as a congregation spread out all over Baton Rouge. So we're going to sing this and practice it together now.
I will build my life. That's right, CBC. We sing that, we declare that now and tomorrow morning, um, that our foundation is the love of God in the gospel of Jesus Christ. We want to have that firm foundation, and then when we're trusting in Him daily, we'll never be shaken. And so we want to be uh, a a church built on a 316 foundation and being a, a 516 church, praying fervently and uh, rejoicing always, walking in the Spirit, um, shining out the light of Christ, and making the most of the time. That's what uh, 516 uh, for us is all about. And so let's pray right now. And um, in church, remember to pray on through the night. Um, and so let's start now. Father, thank you. Uh, thank you for your word. Um, Thank you for how it teaches us and encourages us. Um, thank you for the word that shows us Christ. Um, he is uh, our only hope and foundation. May we build our life on the gospel. And Father, um, as we respond um, to your love and to your truth, would we uh, keep our trust in you and would we pray and, um, and shine the light of Christ and walk by your spirit and rejoice um, and make the most of our time. Would we do all those things in response um, to the gospel and in response to who you are, um, not to earn your love, God, not to perform for you to earn any merit, um, but just as a loving response to all that you are. Um, so God, thank you for, um, for this opportunity um, to prepare for worship. Um, God, I pray that you would, um, uh, as people are praying today, bless them and, and shape our church by prayer um, as we um, stay dependent upon you. Pray all that in Christ's name. Amen. Hey, church, thanks for joining me tonight. Um, get ready for a great time of worship tomorrow morning. We'll see you there.